strong curve, that's what we're talking about today. We're going to be doing a 10 minute ab blast. Are you ready for it? Let's get into it. This workout is going to focus on your inner core and your outer core or your six pack area. We're not going to focus too much on the obliques so there's not going to be a lot of side bending because of course over time that's going to give us a blockier looking waist. We're going to do 10 exercises. Each exercise is going to be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. It's going to burn but make sure that we go for quality over quantity so don't rush through it. All right, let's get into it. We're starting off with some bird dog crunches. These are a little bit tricky. It's gonna really test your core and your stability, your balance. Just go nice and slow and really focus on crunching that elbow to knee. Don't rush through this one. If you wobble a little bit, it's all good. This is just a really easy start to the workout. Keep that core tight, so suck that belly in towards your spine. And have a rest. Okay, plank taps, so nice and controlled. Notice how I'm actually sticking my bum up into the air a little bit. That just eases the hip flexors and allows you to really contract your abs, okay? So don't crunch into your lower back here. Really slow and controlled, bring the foot out and in, pushing the floor away with your palms. This is deceiving. This is gonna start to really tax your upper body as well. If it's too much, you can go onto your forearms. That's not a problem. Again, see how my bum is lifted up into the sky a bit. I know a lot of people say that's cheating, but trust me, if your hip flexors are an issue, that's the best way. Five, four, three, two, one knee reaching crunch this is like a beginner's version but do not be fooled you are going to start burning through the core make sure that you're pressing your spine firmly into the mat don't let your feet raise off the floor and i want you to focus on squeezing the core and then lifting the shoulders reaching for those knees the whole time don't get sloppy Hold for a pause at the top as well. Really focus on the contraction of your abs at the top. So reach for those knees. Five, four, three, two, one. This is a knee tuck to a leg lower. I want you to push that spine into the mat. Don't let your sit bones raise off the mat. If you are arching through your lower back, if you can't keep your spine flush, then just stick to the knee tucks. Or maybe don't go for full range of motion. So only lower the legs as far as you can whilst keeping your spine neutral. You should be getting pretty warm about now. Heel taps. 
I don't know about you, but my abs are pretty much on fire right now. Uh, poker face, anyone? Again, I am pushing my spine all the way into the mat. Bear down, lift those shoulders up, really squeeze those abdominals, looking forward, tapping those heels each side. Do not let your shoulders lower down onto the mat. Oh, this is really starting to hurt now. Are you with me? Keep going if you can, but if this is too intense, please take a rest. Ouchy. Five, four, three, two, one. Toe touches. One of my favorites. Somehow this feels like a little bit of a rest, but don't be fooled again. If you can't keep your toes completely straight, you can take a bend in the knee, that's totally okay. But I want you to reach all the way to those toes. So big crunch. Lifting those shoulders off the mat, looking towards those toes. Oh yeah. Okay, it's really starting to burn now. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, anybody else getting anxiety from that countdown? Jesus Christ. These are flutter kicks. So again, I want you to focus on pushing that spine down into the mat, really brace that core. Doing little scissor kicks. So swapping the legs over, keeping them high as well. The lower you go with the legs, the more intense it's going to feel. So if you're a beginner, you can bring the legs up to a higher angle, that's totally okay. Take rest when you need to. How's everyone doing? Yep, struggling? Me too. Okay, look at me grab onto that mat, Jesus. Five, four, three, two, one. Alternating reaching leg raise. That's a mouthful, isn't it? This looks a bit crazy. The shoulders need to be raised the whole time. Push that spine into the mat. Breathe through it. Don't forget to breathe. Jesus Lord, help me. I am dying. Nearly there, guys. We've got five seconds left. Oh, mama. Five, four, three, two, one. Lord, this countdown. So we've got a leg raise here. If you are already dying by this point, feel free to do a knee tuck instead. So just bring the knees into the chest rather than raising the legs. Also, you don't have to go all the way down with the legs. So be mindful of your hip flexors. Just go as low down as feels good without your lower back crunching or your spine arching. Oh, oh, this hurts. Nearly there, guys, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Last exercise, guys. The V leg raise. I am legitimately nearly a corpse here. Uh, keep going. Let's do this. Knees in towards the chest. <sighs> Brace that core. Nice and strong, ladies. Let's finish strong. We can do this. We've got this. Who am I kidding? I am dying. I am legitimately dying. 15 seconds. Keep pushing those knees into the chest. Don't give up just yet. You can do it. And we're done. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was so intense. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in another video. Bye.